Hello everybody, my name is Kate Olaf and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be going over how you can start investing in the stock market today. If you have seen my previous videos, you know that my goal for this channel is to help simplify finance for everybody watching. So if you are finding value in watching these videos and you enjoy them, please do me a solid and consider subscribing. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Before we begin, I'd just like to say that I'm going to explain the process of investing in stocks as if you've never heard of stocks before. And that's okay if you haven't because the number one rule of investing is you don't invest in something you don't understand. So to start, let's talk about what a stock is. By definition, a stock is the capital raised by a corporation or business through the issue of subscription and shares. To simplify, big companies allow us, the public, to purchase ownership in their company in the form of stocks. That then makes the stock market a market for stocks. The stock market is like a mall, but instead of $6 iced coffees and $100 pairs of shoes, you shop for stocks. So to simplify even further, stocks are just ownership of a company. Now we get to talk about shares. Shares or shares of stock is simply the amount of the company that you own. For instance, at the time of making this video, the tech company Apple stock is valued at $127.14 per share. So say you wanted to invest in Apple and you bought $100 worth of stock. Take note that the $100 you spent is not enough money to buy one full share of Apple stock, which is valued at $127.14. And that's okay, because you don't always have to have enough money to purchase one full share. So you buy the $100 worth, and now you own a 0.788th share of Apple. Now over time, a company's share prices will rise and fall due to supply and demand. If the company is really popular and more people wanna buy it, that stock price will go up. And if more people wanna sell the stock, the price will then go down. So so if you think you're going to be interested in investing in stocks pretty actively, you would be then considered an active investor. An active investor is someone who is simply highly involved. They like to check on the market multiple times a day to see the price movements of their stocks. They are usually selling and buying their stocks within a day, and they chase after short-term profits. Some active investors are also known as day traders. I personally would not recommend day trading if you have no experience with stocks. While there is money to be made, 80% of day traders lose money within the first year and the people who make money doing it are usually doing it full-time but if you're anything like me you would be interested in passive investing passive investors refer to a buy-and-hold portfolio which simply means that they buy stock and hold it forever hoping that it always climbs in value passive investors usually invest in things like mutual funds which we'll get to later they don't normally sell and they act as if their stock portfolio is a savings account they put their money away way and let their wealth build over time. Now whatever you choose to do, I recommend finding someone who invests in stocks the way you would like to invest, whether that's passively or actively, and ask them the pros and cons of their investing strategy. So before we jump into the steps of setting up an account, I want to briefly go over mutual funds. A mutual fund is a professionally managed investment fund that pulls money from its shareholders and invests in diversified holdings. These are diversified funds in which carry multiple companies stock. You may have heard of the S&P 500, which is a mutual fund that consists of 500 of the largest companies in the stock market. So if you were to invest in this fund, you would technically own a percentage of every one of the 500 largest companies in the stock market. These funds are managed by professional fund managers, which are hired by the brokerage in which you invest. The four main brokerages you can choose to invest with with are TD Ameritrade, Charles Schwab, E-Trade, and Fidelity Investments. You can also invest with online brokers like Robinhood, Ally Invest, and Weeble. I will say this, I personally use Fidelity Investments and it works very well, but it honestly doesn't matter what you use as long as you set up an account and start investing. So the first step in setting up an account would be to choose the brokerage that you want to start investing with. Now technically you can do more than one, but to keep things simple, we'll just start off with one brokerage. Once you pick one, you want to go to their website and find the open an account button. I have put all of the brokerages links to their websites down below in the description if you want to go and check those out. So when you click on that open an account button, they should ask you what type of an account you would like to open. And you want to choose the individual brokerage account. This account gives you control on what you want to buy 
and allows you to shop and choose which stocks that you want to invest in. Take note that when you do hit that open account button, it's going to ask for some personal information as well as have you link your bank account to the individual brokerage account. Once you finish setting up an account, you'll be able to move money from your bank account into your individual account. That way you can start shopping for stock. Now every brokerage's platform is going to be different, so I can't say what you're specifically going to do for each platform. but if you're going to be a passive investor like myself, what you can do is search the word mutual funds in their search bar. That way you can start looking at the different funds they have to offer. When deciding to buy, I recommend starting out with three different funds to purchase stock in. Now you may be asking, well, how do I determine if it's a good fund to invest in or a bad fund? And you're going to want to look for the five year, 10 year, and life of fund columns. If all of these columns have a positive percentage in them, most likely it's going to be a good fund to invest. In. If a fund has been on a positive climb year after year for over a decade, there's a good chance you'll make money with that fund long term. Now how much money you put into your stock portfolio is completely up to you. But make sure over everything else that you put money into your stock portfolio consistently. That is the key to growing your stock portfolio. The moment you stop putting money into your account, the moment your money stops moving. So if you watch my previous video, you would remember the importance of a budget. Well this is where it comes into play. When you budget, you can plan to set aside a certain amount of money to be able to put into your individual brokerage account. It can be anywhere from $50 a paycheck to $300 a paycheck. Again, the most important thing is that you keep that number consistent throughout your initial investment phase. So make a promise to yourself that whatever the paycheck looks like, you'll stick to that number you told yourself you'd invest. Once you start making some more money, you'll be able to increase the number in which you invest. But for now, pick a healthy number that won't burden you, but will also push you. And within a year, you'll look back on that money that has grown and you'll wish you had started sooner. An awesome tip I use when I invest is that I tell myself I'm investing in my future self. So don't worry about the money that you're putting away for now. Think about yourself 10 years from now. You owe it to your future self to work hard and invest all your hard earned money. I understand I went over a lot in this video and so if you have any questions, feel free to message me on any of my social platforms. All the links to those social platforms are down in the description below. Or feel free to email me at kateolaf at gmail.com. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you thought this video was in any way helpful for you. Also, make sure to tap the notification bell that way you don't miss out on any of my new videos and as always I'm Kate Olaf and I'll see you in the next one